Ever since anime first became popular among American audiences in the late 80s, Western cartoonists began showcasing their love for Japanese animation in their own original art. Whether it's subtle details in the show's background or entire episodes dedicated to Japanese styles, several animators have made sure their cartoons contain anime easter eggs. I'm Kyle with Wicked Binge, and today we're looking at 20 anime references in cartoons tunes you might have missed. But before we begin, if you love anime and our Wicked Binge formats, make sure you go subscribe to our new anime channel, Otaku Binge. A lot of you have been asking us to start covering anime on a regular basis, and we decided to build a whole new channel. We'll be releasing anime-themed episodes of Good to Evil, Gruesome to Most Gruesome, Weak to Powerful, and more. With that said, let's get on with today's video. Rick and Morty, the Black Butler reference. Cartoon Network's Rick and Morty is no stranger to obvious anime references, but this one is quite obscure unless you're a diehard Black Butler fan. In Rick and Morty Season 2, Episode 4, titled Total Recall, Summer says the line, and if Mr. Beauregard wasn't our butler, it's safe to say that we would be in a hell of a lot of trouble. If you notice the tone of her voice and the emphasis on the word hell, it sounds similar to the catchphrase of one of Black Butler's characters, Sebastian. Sebastian Michaelis, Miraculous Ladybug, callback to Sailor Moon and cardcaptor Sakura. Nickelodeon's Miraculous Ladybug, which later got picked up by Disney Channel, was actually produced in part-time by anime powerhouse Toei Animation. In fact, the series was originally planned as a 2D anime. But even in 3D, its transformation sequences will surely remind you of two Japanese cartoons from the same genre, Sailor Moon and Cardcaptor Sakura. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, The Pony's Crystal Empire. The entire My Little Pony franchise has featured several glimpses of the Japanese kawaii culture in its episodes. The show's mythology that leans towards girly magic shares a number of similarities with Sailor Moon, and the link between these two cartoons is even more prominent in the tie-in comics featuring Sailor Moon ponies. Also, one of the episodes from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic shows the ponies Crystal Empire, which fans think was inspired by Sailor Moon's Crystal Tokyo. Adventure Time, the Food Chain episode. In 2014, Adventure Time was taken over by an anime director for the first time, and it clearly shows in the Season 6 Episode 7 titled Food Chain. From the theme song to tiny details in the animation, it's safe to say that a unique anime flavor runs through the episode. Drawn Together, Ling Ling or Pikachu. Also known as the world's first animated reality series, Comedy Central's Drawn Together has included icons from all corners of the cartoon universe during its three-season run. This obviously includes anime as well. One of the protagonists from the show, Ling Ling, shares a close resemblance to Pikachu. This was obviously meant as a parody, but also notice how Ling Ling's owner is named Gash, which of course rhymes with Ash from Pokemon. Gravity Falls, Dipper's Birthmark. Gravity Falls is another cartoon that has managed to include several nods to Japanese video games and anime, most of which are not that obvious to viewers. For example, in one of the episodes, the constellation-shaped birthmark on Dipper's forehead seems identical to the birthmark on Kinshiro's chest in the Fist of the North Star. Regular Show, The Brilliant Century Duck Crisis Special. Regular Show's Season 6, Episode 24, titled Brilliant Century Duck Crisis features opening sequences that are a recreation of those from the anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. The special's intro even mimics the anime's theme song, and the word crisis in the title is probably an homage to Bubblegum Crisis. To top it all off, this regular show episode also features a remake of Cowboy Bebop's closing credits. Regular Show, Tecmo's Costume. Another instance where Cartoon Network's regular show made an anime reference was during the episode Terror Tales of the Park 3. Tecmo, a green humanoid who wears a black jacket, is seen wearing a costume at the Halloween party, which makes him look a lot like Spike Spiegel from the sci-fi anime series Cowboy Bebop. 
Star versus the Forces of Evil, the Sailor Moon reference. Similar to My Little Pony, the Magical Girl TV series Star vs. the Forces of Evil has a ton of hidden Sailor Moon references that are often overlooked by viewers. One of the most noteworthy examples is Star's wand. If you look closely, it's a blatant combination of the wands seen in Sailor Moon and also used by Sakura Kinemoto. The Amazing World of Gumball anime-style showdown. In its Season 4 episode, The Fury, Cartoon Network's The Amazing World of Gumball turns moms into Super Saiyans. It features an epic anime-style showdown between Gumball's mother, Nicole, and a mysterious figure from her past named Yuki. The fight hints at Dragon Ball Z by including the Kamehameha-style energy blasts. Also notice Nicole referring to her fighting style using two words, Hokuto, which is Kinshiro's fighting style from the Fist of the North Star, and Kanoa, which is a village in Naruto. Steven Universe, Ruby's Yamcha Pose. Anime fans almost always enjoy Steven Universe, and there's a valid reason why. The American animated series has numerous episodes as well as small details that are reminiscent of various kinds of anime. In one of Steven Universe's episodes, Ruby makes the classic Yamcha pose from Dragon Ball Z. Steven Universe, end of Evangelion reference. Another anime reference from Steven Universe can be seen in the Season 3 episode Kiki's Pizza Delivery Service. The scene where Steven and Kiki sit by the beach and have two large pizza slices is a direct visual reference to Asuka and Shinji in End of Evangelion's ending. Bob's Burgers, My Neighbor Totoro Although anime references aren't a norm for Fox's animated sitcom Bob's Burgers, we do get an obscure one in episode 5 of season 3. After Bob falls asleep while cooking the Thanksgiving turkey, he dreams that the turkey grows to an enormous size, with an umbrella in its hand. The turkey's appearance here is quite similar to that of Totoro from the anime movie My Neighbor Totoro. Ben 10, Team Ebisu Ben 10 Season 3 Episode 30 includes a clear reference to Naruto, as Team Ebisu can be spotted here. The Boondocks Samurai Champloo references. The Boondocks includes several nods to the 2005 anime series Samurai Champloo. For starters, the Red Ball episode seems heavily inspired by the Samurai Champloo episode, where the gang learns the fundamentals of baseball. The Boondocks also makes major references to the anime during the opening credits of its first season. Teen Titans Chibi Moments It's no surprise that Teen Titan is heavily influenced by Japanese animation, which is why its style was eventually referred to as American anime. Turns out, animation director Glenn Murakami injected tons of references from Battle of the Planets and FLCL into the show on purpose. Notice the deformed chibi moments in Teen Titans, which are a staple in Japanese animation. Codename Kids Next Door, anime characters spotted. The Cartoon Network series about a group of spy kids in a mysterious treehouse aired for six seasons and frequently made obvious anime references. Most of these callbacks were to popular animes such as Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z, and several characters from these franchises often slipped between scenes on Codename Kids Next Door. For instance, in the episode titled Operation Archive, the Pokemon master Ash Ketchum can be seen sitting in the audience during a film screening. In another episode named Operation Report, we see an obvious parody of a Dragon Ball Z character that's certainly hard to miss. South Park Ninja Battle It's almost impossible to talk about anime culture mockery without mentioning South Park. The series has dedicated an entire episode to parodying anime tropes. In Season 8 episode Good Times with Weapons, the boys transform into typical anime characters after coming across some Eastern Asian weapons. This episode screams of the 1993 Japanese anime fantasy film Ninja Scroll. The Fairly Odd Parents Dragon Ball Z meets Pokemon. The Fairly Odd Parents 2004 TV movie, Channel Chasers, features the characters' adventures as they are transported inside their TV via a magical remote control. Timmy Turner finally gets a chance to enter his favorite shows, one of which is called Mahu Mushi, 
which looks a lot like Dragon Ball Z and even includes trading cards identical to those from Pokemon. And finally, The Simpsons Couch Gags. The Simpsons is perhaps the most commonly talked about show when it comes to pop culture references, and it throws in a couple anime easter eggs every now and again. The cartoon has actually featured two of these references during its iconic couch gag, as some of its directors and producers are hardcore anime fans. During the fifth episode of season 15, The Simpsons dress up as anime characters. Maggie as Pikachu, Bart as Astro Boy, and Lisa as Sailor Moon. Also, during the episode titled Treehouse of Horror 25, Lisa is seen dressed as Mikasa from Attack on Titan, while Homer looks a lot like Zoro from One Piece. Let us know in the comments section what your favorite anime references are in American cartoons. And if you love anime in our good to evil format, make sure to check out our new channel, Otaku Binge. We have a ton of anime videos planned for over there. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, stay wicked.